Welcome back to my channel. On this video, I'm gonna show you how to make a lotion bars. And I'm gonna give you heaps of different options for different scents, depending on who you're making these for. These make a really beautiful little gift for your friends and for your family. These lotion bars are super easy just to throw in your handbag so you've got moisturizer on the go. Now, I don't recommend keeping these in your handbag in the heat of an Australian summer because they will melt a little bit. If you do want to keep them in your handbag in summertime, make sure that you do keep them in a really good sealed container like a tin container or a glass container, something that's going to keep it all together if it does get a little bit melty. However, these lotion bars are super simple to make. They make beautiful gifts for friends and family and they smell really good. And you can easily change them out to make them smell however you want. So I'm starting out with half a cup of sweet almond oil in a glass jug. I'm using a glass jug because it just makes it easier at the end to pour it into the silicon molds that I'm going to use. So to that sweet almond oil, I'm going to add one cup of wax. You can use beeswax or soy wax. I'm choosing to use soy wax for these. And I'm also going to add half a cup of cocoa butter pellets. You could also use shea butter if you know that you need a little bit extra moisturizing, or you can always mix it up and use mango butter. We're gonna just melt that now in some, in a pot of boiling water. Once it's all melted, we're gonna take that off the stove and we're now going to add in our scents. So this is where you can get really, really creative. Today I'm making some lavender ones because I love the soothing properties of lavender for my skin, particularly in the colder months of the year. So because I've decided I'm going to actually do two different scents here, I've just put dried lavender flowers in half of my molds and I'm going to pour my mixture into each and then I'm going to add essential oils and mix it up. I'm just going to add one drop or about one drop of lavender essential oil to each of these. And then I'm just going to use a skewer to mix it in. So for these last ones I've now just mixed my scent straight into my mixture that I'm going to pour in. Set them aside and let them set. Once they're all set, we're gonna just gently pop them out of the molds. Now you can wrap them, put a ribbon around them, give them away to friends and family, or store them in a glass jar in a cool, dry, and relatively dark place. When you're ready to use them, simply grab one out and slowly and gently rub it onto your skin and the natural heat in your skin will melt the lotion bars so you'll get the moisturizer on your skin. There are multiple ways that you can customize this with all sorts of different scents and I will leave a whole bunch of ideas on my blog. So check out the link below to my website where you can find a whole bunch of different options for these lotion bars. 